Hi, this is Don McAllister and welcome to another edition of Screencasts Online. You can't have failed to notice the incredible advancements in artificial intelligence or AI models in the past few months, especially in the area of natural language processing. AI models have demonstrated remarkable capabilities in understanding and generating human-like text, enabling various services such as content creation, summarization, translation, and question answering, to name but a few. Now, these capabilities also extend to code generation and even the creation of high-resolution digital images, all based on text-based input. In this tutorial, I'm going to explore some of the features and capabilities of one of the most popular AI models, and that's ChatGPT, and give you some real-life examples on how it can help you from day to day. However, this initial tutorial is intended as a basic introduction to the types of interactions that you may have with a limited subset of AI tools. We may well dive deeper into specific tools and applications in future shows. As well as there being a multitude of different AI models and services available, there are also different ways to access them. Some are free and some are paid for services. Now, just to give you a couple of examples before we dive into the basics of using an AI model, uh, we have covered this before in episode 1228, which was all about craft. If you remember back in that episode, within craft, if you want to use uh, an artificial intelligence assistant, you hit slash, and then you have the assistant command at the top of the list, tap on that. And then this is basically artificial intelligence now allowing us to soften the tone of the writing or strengthen the tone, brainstorm ideas, etc. So we've looked at that. That actually uses a thing called GPT-3. You may remember back in this month's magazine, uh, in the April edition, uh, Richard went over Microsoft 365 Copilot. And that again has now artificial intelligence built in using uh, ChatGPT, which is one model, and also GPT-4 LLM, which is what's called a large language model. Again, don't be too worried about the different types of models. Uh, for this show, I'm going to concentrate on one really, which is the chat GPT. So as well as being able to access these AI models through applications, you also have direct access via the web. So most of these models have web interfaces, and we're going to have a look at this web interface shortly. This is chat GPT. So I can go and type a message in here and get a response back. But we're seeing a lot of dedicated apps now starting to come out. If I just minimize this, let's go ahead and bring up this one here, Mac GPT. So this is a standalone Mac application that allows you to access the web interface of chat GPT. But you can also go ahead and switch on native mode. And once you have access to a secret API key, which you can get quite easily from OpenAI, and I'll show you how to do that later, uh, you can access ChatGPT directly through the native Mac application. And that gives you all sorts of benefits. You can uh, have a menu bar application with immediate access. You can go ahead and do some integration with standard Mac dialog boxes and text fields. But uh, we'll show you that later. What I'm going to do, though, is start at the beginning, really, start at the very basics and go across to openai.com, which is the home of ChatGPT, and take you through setting up an account and starting to use the service via the web interface. Now, things are moving so quickly in this space that ChatGPT has already been overshadowed by the newer system, which is called GPT-4. But that's not fully out yet, and lots of the apps aren't using it. So I'm still going to stick to ChatGPT to demonstrate a few things to you. Uh, if you go to openai.com, you will see lots of information about the latest version, GPT-4. But if you just click through to get to this page, and then just click on Try on ChatGPT+, that will take you to this page here. And we just have to verify that we are human. And then once that has completed, it should take us to a login or sign up page. That's just a quick preview of one of this week's Apple related tutorials from Screencasts Online. Screencasts Online is your premium source of Apple related video tutorials. All of our members get access to brand new up to date tutorials each week, as well as unlimited access to our entire video archive full of Mac and iOS related tutorials. You can stream and download all of our videos on your Mac, iPad and iPhone, and even your Apple TV using the members-only Screencasts Online Apple TV app. 
Membership also includes a complimentary subscription to the Digital Screencast Online monthly magazine, published each month and packed with videos, articles, reviews, as well as hints and tips covering all aspects of the Mac, iPad, iPhone, and all of the other fantastic Apple products. So, if you're ready to start getting the most out of your Apple devices, visit screencastsonline.com today and become a Screencast Online member.